So in this video we're going to look at setting up a network attached storage device um, or a NAS and um, we're going to need to use a, um, a Raspberry Pi, a USB key or hard drive and we're going to use the software module Samba which allows a Windows um, file um, share to be able to be accessed over the network for a Windows machine and um, if you run into any problems it's probably going to be file permissions um, that's going to be the bane of your life if you try to set this up and have any problems and also we're going to set this all up using webmin I've had a video uh, I've made a video on how to set this up so click on the link there and um, that will take you to my installation of webmin video so once you set up webmin you're going to have to go to your command line and install a module that's going to allow um, your Linux server to support NTFS file systems most Windows machines will be NTFS for larger file sizes FAT32 and FAT16 are supported out of the box so that should be absolutely fine you shouldn't need anything for that so once you've installed that software you're going to want to go to your webmin installation go to uh, servers and find Samba Windows file sharing link it will probably tell you that it's not been installed so you want to click on the link here which will download and install the um, package so we're going to leave that to run and um, once you click that that will install okay so we'll leave that to do its job um, once that's finished we're going to quickly just um, return to the file share module and you'll get this menu here which will mean it's all installed okay so we're going to grab our um, USB key in this instance I didn't have an external hard drive spare um, you can see it here I have a few videos so I'm just going to eject that um, USB key that has those video files on once that's ejected I'm going to unplug it from my laptop And then what you'll notice is if you go to hardware and then partitions on local drive, you'll see that there are no um, drives available there at the moment, so there's no partitions found. So if we plug the USB key into our Raspberry Pi, so what we have to do is use the command dmesg um, to have a look and see what the Linux operating system has automatically named our USB device. So um, in this instance, it's SDB, other examples you might see are um, SDA1, SDA2, for example, things you might see. Now, if we quickly pop back to our um, webmin installation and look at the hardware and partitions on the local disk, we'll see now that the system is now picking up that there's a three, uh, sorry, four gigabyte USB key plugged into the, um, into the Pi. So another topic of mine, another video you may need to follow is the video on uh, mounting of devices and this video explains a lot more detail what we're about to do here so you may want to go and watch that video. So what essentially we're doing is we're going to take the, the USB device which in my instance is slash dev slash SDA and then we're going to mount that to a file within our file structure where we can actually view the files. So change into the directory slash media, make a directory called USB01 and that is where we'll actually be able to view those files that are on my USB key. And that's what we just did there quickly. Now we need to make it so that when the Pi reboots, the device automatically is mounted to the file system, and we don't have to do that every single time. So you go into the file uh, slash etc slash um, fs tab, and we need to add this line here, which will allow us to automatically mount the USB key to this particular directory, and we're going to use ntfs as our file system. So I'm using the more command there just to quickly check that the um, that line event has been saved. And then we're going to reboot the Pi to ensure that the USB device gets mounted um, after a reboot. So I'll quickly reboot the Pi. And if I run the command df space minus h, we can see there that slash dev slash sda has been mounted to slash media slash USB01. And if we run the ls space minus l command on slash media slash USB01, we can see that the files that are on my USB key are visible via the Raspberry Pi's uh, Linux operating system. And you'll notice that it's been given full read-write permissions to all of the different um, user groups that we have. Um, so everybody should be able to access that USB key via the Linux operating system. Okay, so we now come back to Webmin and we're going to go back to our Samba Windows uh, file share. And we're going to click on Create a New File Share. And we're going to give it the directory that our USB uh, device is uh, mounted to, which is slash media slash USB01. I'm going to give the share a name. I'm just going to call it NAS Network Attached Storage. And I'm just going to give it the comment of um, it's my USB key that I'm using. And I'm going to click Create. Now, what you'll notice is that it's created a share. 
Um, however, that share is only um, readable to everybody. So we actually couldn't save files on it. We can only read those files off of it. So we need to click on that link, go to security and access control, and then we're going to click the link uh, writable. Um, which basically means that we can actually write and store files to the USB key over the Samba share. And then we're just going to click save to um, save that. And we'll notice now that it's a uh, read write to everybody. So open up run and type backslash backslash in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And I've just put forward slash NAS, which was the name of the share we gave. And you notice it's got my files in there and also the fact that I can actually store and create a new file. So I've got read and write um, capabilities on that USB key. I'm just going to quickly map that drive um, Windows, which is just a normal mapping. Um, type in my IP address, select the directory, the share I want to um, map, click finish. and um, there you'll see that we have that mapped USB drive. So that's an incredibly quick video on how to set up Samba and to turn your Raspberry Pi into a NAS. If you like what I've done here, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the latest videos.